Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to take the concept of actually building an analog computer where we can solve a differential equation. Let's take the second order differential equation in the general format. This is a non homogeneous equation. And let's solve this equation for the second derivative of x with respect to time and see what that looks like. So this can now be written as the second derivative of x with respect to time is equal to dividing both sides by 1 over a and moving this over to the other side I will get the following. I will get 1 over a times the function of time minus b over a times dx dt minus c over a times x. And of course this is only good for time greater than zero. Now notice what we're essentially trying to do here is we're trying to solve for x. Now assuming that this is an input voltage or perhaps an output voltage. So let's think of this as representing the second derivative respect to time of the output voltage. And we want to solve this for V sub O or in other words we want to solve this for X. How do we do that? So we're going to solve this for X. What we could do is we could build an integrator circuit and so the general concept of an integrator circuit it looks like this. We have a capacitor here. Here's the output, so let's call this the output voltage. And this is the input voltage, V in. And let's say that this here represents, this quantity here, represents the second derivative of the output voltage with respect to time. And that then goes in here. That will be your input. Now notice that since this is equal to these three terms right here, we're going to need a summer on this side, we're going to need a summer where we're going to sum the three signals that represent these three terms which are equal to the second derivative of the output voltage with respect to time. We're going to feed that into an integrator and what we're going to get on the output is we're going to get a first derivative because it integrates only once. So this is the dV out with respect to time. And then we're going to take that output and feed it into a second integrator. So this is then going to feed into a second integrator. We're going to have a capacitor here and another integrator circuit right here. And that will get, eventually give us an output voltage. So that's the general concept of an analog computer. We can use that to solve a differential equation by saying this is going to be fed in. Now, since this is equal to these three terms, we're going to feed the three terms in separately. We're going to adjust the size of the capacitor and the size of the resistors in such a way that we take care of these constants appropriately. And we'll show you an example of how to do that. When we integrate that, the output is then going to be the first derivative instead of the second derivative of the output voltage. That feeds into a second integrator and that gives us the V output. As long as we take find the right sizes of the capacitors and the right size of the resistors, we should be able to then come out with the solution to the actual differential equation, which is the V output, which is what we're solving this equation for X. Now, of course, there's a couple more things that we'll need to do, and there's still going to be some feedback loops, and we'll show you an example of how to do that. But at least now you know the general concept of an analog computer that can actually solve a differential equation, and that's a general approach. So let's go and do another example of that, or well, not another, a simple example of that in the next video to show you how to exactly do that in a real example.